I have a quick update on my Unraid box, which I am in the process of uh, upgrading. So I started off with Unraid with a very lightweight system that uh, was a dual core, uh, two, uh, 1.8 gigahertz AMD. I think it was a 260U, which was 25 watts. That just wasn't up to it. Um, things like R-Sync would regularly max out the CPUs. And then I got interested in running VMs and uh, very quickly ran out of CPU and memory as well. And I did upgrade it to a quad-core Athlon X2. That was a 605E, which is 2.3 gigahertz. Uh, so that helped with things like R-Sync, but is not enough for uh, running VMs. Um, I think this kind of like is probably sort of what happens with things like Unraid is you get used to using it and realizing that actually there's a lot of kind of capacity there to do lots of other things. So I've started running applications and dockers and basically decided that I'd quite like a bit more horsepower. Um, but I don't want to spend too much money and I quite like hunting around for things on eBay. So unusual bits of hardware and uh, trying to recycle things that people don't want. So in that vein, I've ended up with this. So this is the base system, uh, base computer for the new system, uh, base motherboard rather. Uh, so it's got two uh, Xeon chips, they're 2650Ls, so they're low power 12 core 24 thread Xeons clocked at 1.8 gigahertz. And I've matched that up with 64 gig of error correction and registered DDR4 RAM. So it's uh, four with four DIMMs. This board only has two memory panels per CPU, um, which isn't a massive problem for me in the use case that I'm using it for, uh, but just bear that in mind if you're using it for something else. Um, the, other, the other slight downside, so I did some research into the motherboard before I bought it, but I popped you know, I, I missed things because there are, you know, there are other boards out there that perhaps might have been more suitable. So one problem is it only has six SATA ports, which isn't very many for our storage. Uh, but a bonus is it has two NVMe M.2 drive connectors, which I can use for my unmade cache. So that's quite nice. Uh, so it's a bit of swings and roundabouts there. I can easily add a HBA S8 uh, SAS. Uh, storage card to control more hard drives if I wanted. That wouldn't be uh, a big big problem. The other downside is it's only got four pin headers. So it has two four pin CPU ones and two three pin other fan headers. So that's not really enough for my case. So I'll have to think of a way of cooling it. Um, and then the final kind of, it's not really a downside, but it's something that I need to be aware of is that the CPU sockets are actually pretty close together so I'm going to have to be careful choosing a CPU cooler that will fit side by side. I think I found a Cooler Master one, it's not a brand that I'm very familiar with but um, should be okay. Other couple of things that I noticed, I actually saw a review of this board online, I'll put a link below uh, where they go through some of the issues. They had some issues with memory compatibility but I think this double sided uh, DDR4 ECC RAM is fine, that's something to bear in mind. Um, and the other issue they did point out was the uh, the, the, the only two channels of uh, memory controller which is fine for, for, for me anyway. I also then saw uh, that Gamers Nexus have done a review of a very similar board and a very similar kind of setup. They were looking at its potential as a gaming system, which it wasn't particularly great for, but also as a workstation. And they had a board that on the I.O. had built in VGA graphics. Now that would have been great because then I could have used the two 16, uh, 16 times PCIe slots for graphics cards and possibly that hard drive controller and pass the graphics through to uh, a VM which is something that I'm quite interested in doing. Currently you have a Windows dual boot system that I could easily swap with a virtual machine I think. Um, but I think I've got a solution for that and that is that I found on eBay some 
graphics cards that will fit in these one times PCIe slots and that will mean that the graphics used for the host system will run off one of those and I can pass through a graphics card for virtual machines. So I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, obviously I haven't tried it yet. I need the coolers to boot it up. Um, but assuming it works, I think this will be a great upgrade to my Unraid system and provide a great platform for experimenting more with VMs and all the apps and the dockers that it can use, which uh, I think um, will also, you know, not just for fun, but actually be useful uh, to, to my day-to-day -day working as well. Okay, well, I'll update you with my progress later on.